Well, obviously, we've got just a tremendous amount of excitement being built up for the next 24 hours. As I look at the list, there's just a phenomenal roster of exciting things to do and, and a tremendous impact for uh, middle school and high school kids from across the nation who have proven themselves to the point to get here for a national challenge. Yeah, I mean, we have 100 teams representing 30 states and the Virgin Islands that are coming out tomorrow to launch. We're really excited to have them. Uh, it'll be an interesting challenge. We have a lot of returning teams, but also some new teams too, so it should be interesting. Let's go back to the very beginning. I mean, this is a huge undertaking. So what bit of insanity brought this up to begin with? I mean, where did this start and who do we blame? <laughs> Um, AIA created the Team America Rocketry Challenge back in 2003, initially just as a one-time celebration of the centennial of flight. But the response was so great after the first year that we decided to have an annual event. AIA partnered with the National Association of Rocketry and NASA and the Department of Defense and decided to make it an annual competition to encourage students to study math and science and pursue careers in aerospace. That's one of the things I noticed right off the bat. I mean, there are some very serious players here. I mean, we're talking to people tomorrow that run some of the biggest uh, governmental organizations as well as some of the biggest companies in the world. So obviously they think there's some impact here. If you can, try to quantify how important is this to the future of the technologies that we're trying to put forth in front of the students that will be making the decisions and the discoveries tomorrow. The workforce issue in the aerospace industry is a major one. A majority of our aerospace workforce currently are um, closing in on retirement age and we need the next generation of aerospace engineers and the next generation of you know innovators and people who will think up of the greatest technologies we really want to make sure that you know we're on the cutting edge of technology and that we have the right students that will come in and, and be able to take over our jobs. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value. So how is TARC set up to be able to provide both inspiration as well as a, as a testing ground for these future engineers, designers, and so forth? Well, it's, it's a great program because these kids get to actually build and test a, a real aerospace product. So they go through the entire process and it really gives them a good understanding of what a scientist or an engineer does in the real world. And I think it's fun for them to see something that they've built actually launch and it's educational and then they also get the connections with these companies and NASA and the Department of Defense that really solidifies their interest in this field. I would imagine there's some actual honest to God recruiting going on here because uh, I mean it was fun at breakfast this morning listening to some of the kids who are staying in the hotel that we were at who are preparing for the event and some of the preps that they've done so far and the research and what they, they, they were sounding like rocket scientists already. Definitely. We've had numerous uh, success stories even, uh, teams who have come to compete in the TARC finals and they've seen the banners that are around the field and they've sought out those companies for when you know they get, need college internships or jobs after college and these companies have also been recruiting them. I mean they'll have display booths at TARC and they'll be here in full force really engaging with the kids and trying to get them to come work for them someday. Audrey, obviously this is kind of a major undertaking. You don't start a week to 10 days out and say, guess what, we're gonna have a rocket competition next week. What kind of prep, what kind of uh, staffing and uh, assets do you have to bring to Ford to make something like this happen? Well, Jim, it's actually a year long event. Um, I start marketing in the summer and then the registration period is between September and December in, in the fall. And then the students have to build and launch their rockets by um, early April. So it really is, you know, going through the whole process of marketing for the event, talking to the teachers and students, uh, collecting all their information, registering, fielding emails. We have a really great staff who work at the finals. We have over 100 volunteers from the National Association of Rocketry that just come out because they love rocketry and they love this event. So we couldn't do it without them. They run all the range operations and answer all the technical questions and provide mentorship to these students. 
as far as AIA goes, we provide you know all the logistics and coordination of the VIPs and the you know the catering and making sure that our companies feel special and that the kids the kids feel special as well. So it, it is a, a good team effort between AIA and the National Association of Rocketry. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Let's bring up the AIA angle a little bit. Let's face it, AIA is not exactly what you call a small association. You represent some of the literally most powerful uh, companies and industries on the planet. Uh, folks that are literally uh, turning the globe uh, over here and there and, and just making tremendous impacts on our society. Uh, what kind of feedback do you get from, from them, both from a standpoint of their involvement and how important does AIA think this is to your mission? Well, we've you know been directed by our executive committee, which is our, represent CEOs from all the major companies, that this getting kids interested in math and science is one of our most important issues. So we really have taken that to heart, and that's why we created TARC. We've seen a tremendous amount of support from the companies, from mentoring teams in their local districts to bringing interactive exhibits out for the kids to providing goodie bags and taking kids on plant tours and coming out to the event and really supporting it. So I think the companies are realizing that, hey, this is a great investment. We have all these kids. We have over 7,000 kids that participate each year. And um, we're seeing, starting to see some real results as these, ch these kids are graduating and going into the aerospace industry. I, I I can just imagine what kind of inspiration this kind of program, this kind of guidance is. I can tell you from a standpoint of growing up with, a, with Estes model rockets and radio controlled airplanes, what that did for me. I can't imagine what I'm, how much a program like this could have meant to me at the time. Of course, that was a few years ago, so we won't go there. But I, I, what, uh, what are you hearing directly from, from the students, the kids involved in this? We're hearing that it's just a really fun event and that building rockets is something fun that they would want to do whether it was in school or out of school. We've seen this program implemented in school curriculum and we've seen it in after school clubs. I think the kids are really having a good time and they feel like rock stars. I mean this is a huge competition with a hundred teams vying for prize money and trips abroad so it's like you know the you know biggest sporting event you could think of but for math and science so that's what we we really like to play it up as this is really important this is all about you and this is exciting <laughs>